Ah, good old Power Apps non-delegable awesomeness. Guess a more accurate reaction would probably go something like, ah! If you've developed a Power App before, then you probably encountered at one time or another little blue lines in one of your queries to your data connections. It'll look a bit like an error just when you're using your favorite developer tools. Where errors are usually highlighted in red, these are blue and unlike errors, they don't block the application from running and appearing to function as normal. Unfortunately, that's not always the case as non-delegable queries can in fact cause an application to malfunction. So how do we define a non-delegable query? Well, a simple way will be to say that it's a query where it is not possible to pass the query logic to the source, meaning the query must be performed on the complete data set only after it's loaded to the client first. You might be thinking, well, that shouldn't cause my application to malfunction, right? Well, yes and no. If the data set you're querying is bigger than your data row limit settings for your application, then the chances of your query not returning a complete set of data is high. Whenever you're querying a data connection, Power Apps will only return the number of records that is equal to the row data limit settings for your app. At the time of filming this video, that can be set to a maximum of 2,000 rows, meaning your query must fit within a 2,000 row limit. So when a non-delegable query is executed, records starting from the initial record in the table to the record limit are returned to the executing Power App. Records that are stored beyond the record limit are never returned and effectively don't exist. Let's take a closer look. In this example, I have two galleries that are using the same connection to a SharePoint list as its data source. I also have the data row limit set to a very low number to clearly demonstrate how this works. In the first gallery, I'm filtering the data for records created today using the today function. Because date value filters are not supported by the data source, I'm getting a non-delegable warning on this query. In this case, Power Apps will load the entire data set into memory first and then perform the filter action, bringing the data row limit into play. Our record is not retrieved by the query because it's the 13th record in our data set and our data row limit is set to 12. However, in the second gallery, our record is being retrieved because we have used a workaround for the non-delegable date query. In the case of the second filter function, I use an additional column called date value, where I store the record's creation date as a numerical value. Unlike dates, Numbers are delegable and therefore the query will be performed on the entire data set at the source before loading the results to Power Apps, bypassing the app row limit. Okay, that's another Power Apps tutorial. Make sure you click that like button if you like the video. And of course, subscribe if you wanna keep up to date with all the latest stuff coming out. I've got plenty of videos coming up. So yeah, hit that like button and hit the bell notification to keep in the loop when I'm posting new videos to this channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.